from the journey of Ephraimus Long Journey. Pilgrim. With notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Marde, 21st cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. 59th day in the trees. We are making good distance. Torn seems determined to prove that he is not unfit due to his broken arm. Sometimes I almost admire him, strange as it is. He does not like to show any weakness. He reminds me of my cousin, who once tried to carry as large a burden as my first father, not realizing that it took many years of hard work to build such strength. Torn is showing concern for me. In fact, he is convinced I am ailing under a malady. Well, so am I, of course, but I do not wish him to know it especially not once he had broken his arm. He has quite enough to worry about with that, surely. But he has noticed my shortness of temper, as well as pointing out my fading stripes. They are fading. They are barely even blue anymore, just a slightly paler green. I told him it was perfectly normal, just a phase. I suppose he is not the only one who wishes to conceal weakness. It does make me feel sad, though. I was very proud of my stripes. There were several females in our tribe who admired them. I was considered a very handsome male. Had things turned out differently, I would have had little trouble finding a wife. If I had completed a task well, I could even have been a first husband. Well, it is no matter. I am not likely to reach the burrow again, and there are no females here to admire my stripes. My vanity is nothing to worry over. Suja is still with us, but she is becoming more independent. She rarely rides on my shoulder or in my pack anymore. Indeed, she is almost too large to fit in my pack, or on my shoulders. She sleeps apart from me most of the night. She is friendly enough, but she often seems distracted. I doubt she will be with us much longer. Still, she is strong. She will survive. No, she will thrive. I am sure of it. I do not know why I am so certain, but I do not doubt she will do well even without us.